If you're watching this video, it's most likely because this is one of your first times that you are about to smoke barbecue ribs. You see, one of the big problems with barbecue ribs or even barbecue items in general is there are so many methods out there. I'm gonna help you filter through all of that noise today and give you the most simplistic method for badass, delicious, barbecue smoked ribs every single time. Let's go. So for today's cook, we're doing some St. Louis style pork spare ribs. You can also do this with baby back ribs. You'd virtually use the exact same method that we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna start by taking both of these racks of ribs out, then we're gonna pat them dry on both sides with a paper towel. Again, today we're keeping it simple. So for prep, there's not a whole lot that we need to do. The only thing that I'm really gonna do is look for big chunks of fat or meat that may need to be trimmed off before we start our cook. This back little flap or skirt here is coming off on both racks of ribs. Now for this back membrane, do you have to remove it? No, keep it simple and just score it. I don't know of any top barbecue joint that removes this membrane. For as long as we're cooking these ribs for, the membrane will not matter. Now today we're not using a binder, but you can if you'd like. We're just gonna hit these straight with our seasoning and today we're using Texas Hat Hanger by Rub City going light on the bone side of these ribs and a lot heavier on the meat side. Now this is your all-purpose Texas style rub, so heavy on the pepper, heavy on the salt, with a little onion and garlic flavors as well. It's going to be absolutely perfect mixed with smoke and these ribs. Now when you're seasoning up your racks, make sure that you get every square inch. Make sure to get those sides, make sure to get those corners. You want every inch covered with rub. When you're smoking meat for a long period of time, some of the flavor, some of the strength of that flavor in the rub is going to dissipate over time. So it is okay to over season and compensate for that. Once you have your ribs seasoned up, let them sit for 10, 15 minutes, don't mess with them. You want that rub, that seasoning to really begin to sink in to that meat. Next, these ribs are going into our Woodwind Pro. We're gonna throw in some hickory wood chunks. These are going in at 225 degrees. We're gonna estimate five to six hours for these racks. We're not wrapping them, we're not saucing them, we're just going to let them go. Remember, the name of the game today is simplicity. Four hours later. So these ribs have been running about four hours now and they smell absolutely delicious. Next step is we need to make a Texas style barbecue sauce that we are going to add when we wrap these ribs in foil. Let's go. Now for the sauce, grab you a saucepan, bring it to medium low heat. We're adding eight ounces of tomato sauce, one cup of ketchup, one fourth cup fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, Next, add the seasoning mix that you see below. Get that all mixed together and incorporated. Now, at some point, someone told me that you add brown sugar at the end of this. I don't know why I do it, but I do it. So this is one half cup brown sugar. We're gonna mix this all together. We're gonna let it simmer on low for about five minutes or so, and this sauce is going to be fantastic. If you wanna spice things up a bit, you can add some hot sauce, you can add some chipotle peppers. If you wanna make things sweeter, add some honey, add more brown sugar. But this is your perfect base for a Texas-style OG barbecue sauce. Back to our ribs, we're at the five and a half hour mark, so we're gonna start checking for doneness. First thing that we wanna see are some bendable, flexible ribs, but without them breaking. These feel fantastic, so now I'm going to temp. Make sure that you're temping in a meaty part, not next to a bone. I'm usually looking for anything 195 to 200 degrees. These are temping at 198, they are done, we're taking them off. Now it's time to wrap in foil, add that barbecue sauce that we just made, and then these are gonna rest in a 170 degree oven until we're ready to eat tonight. For most home ovens, usually the lowest setting is around 170 degrees. I found that is a perfect temperature to hold ribs until you are ready to serve. So we've added that sauce, we've put the ribs in, meat side down on top of the sauce, then we're gonna wrap up extremely tightly. Now when we put these in the baking tray, we're putting them meat side down. If you can recall, we did not use a lot of sauce in this. It was just a little bit to be nicely incorporated in the rib. It's going to be fantastic. So into our 170 degree oven for about two hours until we're ready to serve. 
All right, the family is finally ready to eat, and I cannot wait to unwrap these ribs. Just unwrapping these, the smoke flavor was so pronounced, which I'm going to totally give credit to the Woodwind Pro for throwing down some fantastic smoke on this cook. Just look at these ribs. Beautiful mahogany color. They're not too saucy. And even though they've been resting in the oven in foil for a couple of hours, they are still holding up, and they're not falling apart. Now we're flipping this rack over. It's going to be a lot easier to see the bones to see where we need to slice i can tell with each slice these are so tender they were cooked to perfection now we're going to flip all these ribs back over for presentation and just look at them no crazy or complicated cook methods here no three two one or four one one just five to six hours of straight smoke and they are absolutely perfect the bark on these is looking fantastic beautiful smoke ring but now it's time for a bite yes the perfect bite clean pull away from the bone not falling apart extremely simple cook method perfect for your first time smoking ribs